हेलो फ्रेंड्स जो भी मेरे चैनल को पसंद करते हैं और फॉलो करना चाहते हैं तो प्लीज इस सब्सक्राइब बटन पे क्लिक करें और जो भी मैं वीडियोस बनाऊंगा वो वीडियोस के नोटिफिकेशन आने के लिए प्लीज यहाँ पे सब्सक्राइब बटन के बाद में एक घंटी होगी उसे प्लीज क्लिक करें ताकि आपको जब भी मैं वीडियोज बनाऊंगा आपको तुरंत पता चलेगा जनरल एंड परमानेंट रूल्स पब्लिश इन द फेडरल रजिस्टर बाय द एग्जीक्यूटिव डिपार्टमेंट एंड एजेंसी ऑफ द फेडरल गवर्नमेंट The title 21 of the CFR is reserved for rules of the Food and Drug Administration called FDA. Part 11 it is a part of title 21 CFR that establishes the United States FDA regulations on electronic records and electronic signatures. Part 11 it defines the criteria under which electronic records and electronic signatures are considered trustworthy reliable and equivalent to paper records Records are kept for a number of reasons it applies only to those records that persons create modify maintain archive or transmit under any records or signature requirement set forth in the federal food drug and cosmetic act or any fda regulations Traditionally these records have been paper based and stored in files or binders when those records required signatures the documents distributed to all parties on the signature list and the signatures were stored along with original the software developer should understand about part 11 because the job of the software developer is to provide the organization with the tools it needs to meet the regulations electronic records must be maintained under described regulations to satisfy an fda audit If a system is defined as closed then the following points of software development should be considered First point system accuracy reliability consistent intended performance and the ability to discern invalid or altered records Second point record must be stored in such a way that they can be inspected viewed or copied by the fda in both human readable and electronic form third point electronic records must be maintained for as long as the paper records that they replace next point secure computer generated time stamped audit trails must independently record operator activities that create modify or delete electronic records without obscuring previously 
regarding systems that might span different time zones the agency advised that a time zone reference should be part of the time stamp and uh, appear in human readable form of the time stamp next point sequencing of process steps or events must be enforced whenever possible next point only authorized individuals must be allowed to use the system sign a record or alter an existing record next point time sequence development and modification of all system documentation must be logged via an audit trail and the second condition if system is defined as open that is emailed records internet based applications etc then the following items should be also be considered document encryption may be necessary to maintain confidential next point digital signature standards must or may be used to ensure record authenticity and integrity signatures considerations the printed name of the signer the date and time the record was signed and the meaning of the signature must be captured as a part of any signature any electronic or handwritten signature record must be linked to its corresponding electronic record so that it can be copied electronic signature do not have to be based on biometric username and password can be used each combination of username and password must be unique username should not be reused passwords should expire periodically last point safeguard should be implemented to detect and report usernames and passwords they may have been compromised these requirements must be implemented by software developer and the organization must configure the applications train users maintain an emergency backup plan limit system access hold user accountable for electronic signatures Thank you